we have a 2008 Mercedes SLK 200 compressor and this one's got 52,000 miles on the clock and it is a category S from the insurance company uh, it's got lots of service history from Mercedes-Benz and it's the later style one so it's got the Formula One style front bumper on it uh, so we've got nice and clean down this side lovely and straight the front bumper's got a few marks on it, so they'll either be touched up or all painted. I think I could probably get away with that, but either way it'll be done. And the bonnet is nice and straight, as is the top. And down this side, lovely and straight. It is actually a decent clean car. And it's got pretty much nearly new Pirellis all the way around, which is nice. back here is all good all the way around to here and it's had a bump there and it's broken the rear light but I've bought another and the the boot obviously all the shut lines are good all straight all the way around here as well and the shut lines there and obviously it closes and opens properly and in the back it's not touched that at all, which is great. That's the most important bit. Otherwise the roof won't work because it'd be a push all this mechanism around. And it's got the other rear light there in the back. Close that. On this side. Inside it has uh, obviously electric windows, electric mirrors. It's got decent stereo, dual climate control, phone kit, trip computer and a few of the bits, and it's in great nick. Oh, and it's got electric seats, I think both sides as well, which is good. Right, let me show you the back here. It's taped up because uh, obviously it's been taken off by an insurance company to have a look at it, and then just, instead of screwing it back up, because they know it's gonna go to a salvage yard, so they'll just tape it up, so it's just in place. <laughs> Seems straight underneath there. Get my camera up there. Good. So it's obviously touched some part of the body underneath, but it's not going to really make a difference to it. You won't be able to see it. It won't make it dive drive any different. So, in short, that bumper will be uh, fixed. There's only a couple of gnarly bits on it, just there and just there, but they'll be plastic uh, welded behind. Uh, I think these ones normally retail for around the six, six and a half thousand pound mark with this kind of mileage, maybe a bit more. It's a good spec. Um, so I'm guessing this one's going to be four nine nine five. And it'll be pretty much exactly the same bar, a painted rear bumper and a touched up front.